We're counting down the ten toughest crops you can grow right through the coldest months. From tender greens that push their limits with a little help, to plants so rugged they shrug off snow and survive temperatures you wouldn't believe. Each spot on this list reveals a new level of winter resilience. Which green survives the least cold? And which one makes winter gardening seem easy? Let's dive in, starting with number 10. Lettuce sits at the edge of what's possible for winter gardening. Without protection, most varieties, like romaine or butterhead, hold out until temperatures dip to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Any colder, and even the hardiest leaves begin to collapse. But with a simple row cover, lightweight fabric stretched above the plants, lettuce can survive nights as cold as 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Field trials across Zone 6 and 7 gardens confirm this 5 degree difference, with covered beds staying just warm enough to keep the heads alive through sudden cold snaps. The key isn't just the cover, but timing. Lettuce must reach full size before the deep cold sets in. Mature plants with thicker leaves and established roots handle freezing nights far better than seedlings, which often wilt and die even under protection. Growers who plant too late watch their young lettuce disappear after the first real freeze, while those who seed early and use row covers enjoy crisp harvests deep into winter. For lettuce, Winter survival is a race against the clock and the cold. Parsley and cilantro bring fresh flavor to winter, but their survival depends on both variety and where they spend the coldest nights. Parsley stands out for its resilience, handling temperatures as low as 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Cilantro, by comparison, begins to suffer below 20 degrees. This difference matters when planning for the coldest months. Most gardeners find that growing these herbs in containers is the simplest way to keep them on the menu. Larger pots are best, as the extra soil helps buffer roots against sudden drops in temperature. When deep cold threatens, moving pots onto a sheltered porch or into a south-facing window can mean the difference between a fresh harvest and a frozen loss. Urban microclimate studies show that even a small shift, like placing a pot against a warm wall, can raise root temperatures by several degrees. With this portable approach, fresh parsley and cilantro often last well into winter, extending the season for soups, salads, and garnishes long after the garden beds have frozen solid. Ice-bred arugula stands out as a winter green shaped by years of careful selection. Unlike standard arugula, which often falters in the cold, this variety was bred specifically for freezing tolerance and flavor. Field reports from growers in Connecticut and New York describe ice-bred arugula holding strong through repeated dips to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, even when other greens have bowed out for the season. The key is genetic resilience. Plants sown in late summer and allowed to mature before the first frost, develop a toughness that carries them through the harshest nights. In Zone 6, established ice-bred arugula can overwinter with minimal protection, and under row covers, some growers continue harvesting well into early spring. The flavor tells its own story. Cold weather brings out a nutty, peppery bite that's milder and sweeter than summer leaves. While most arugula bolts and turns bitter as days grow longer, Icebred's winter stamina means gardeners can enjoy fresh, flavorful greens when little else is growing. This is the promise of modern plant breeding. Hardier crops, reliable harvests, and a taste of green even in the depths of winter. Swiss chard stands out as a winter green that asks for little and gives a lot. Once established, it weathers cold snaps down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, holding its own even when other crops have called it quits. Unlike spinach, which demands careful variety selection for winter survival, chard offers reliable endurance across types like Ford hook and rainbow mixes. Its real advantage, though, is how well it handles partial shade. North-facing beds, often overlooked in winter gardens, 
become productive ground thanks to Chard's ability to keep growing with less sunlight. This photosynthetic efficiency means gardeners with limited sun or shaded plots can still count on fresh harvests deep into the season. Chard's broad leaves and thick stems act as natural reserves, storing energy to push through shorter days and colder nights. The stems themselves, ranging from deep red to golden yellow, bring not just color, but extra nutrients, including magnesium and vitamin K, to the winter table. With minimal care, a bed of chard becomes a steady, low-maintenance source of greens, thriving where others stall. For anyone looking to plant once and harvest for months, Swiss chard is a winter mainstay that quietly gets the job done. Spinach stands at the crossroads of winter survival and smart seed selection. Not all spinach is built for the cold. The difference comes down to variety. Cold-hardy types like Winter Bloomsdale and Giant Winter are bred for freezing nights, holding strong down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit in open beds. Spring varieties, often chosen for their bolt resistance, simply can't match this endurance. Many wilt away before the first hard freeze. Extension field trials and backyard gardeners in zones four through seven report that these winter cultivars keep their crowns alive even after heavy snow, provided plants are well established six to eight weeks before deep cold sets in. Snow acts as a natural blanket, insulating the crown and roots, halting growth but protecting the plant until temperatures rise again. Spinach planted too late, or from the wrong seed type, rarely survives a sharp, cold snap, no matter how much mulch or covering is added. For winter harvests, the seed packet matters as much as the thermometer. Choose proven winter varieties, plant early, and let the snow do its quiet work. Fresh spinach leaves will be waiting when the thaw comes. Mustard greens bring a different kind of excitement to the winter garden. Japanese giant red and wasaba leaf are two standout varieties, both holding their own down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike many other greens, mustard's flavor goes through a noticeable transformation after the first frost. Gardeners and chefs alike describe the change. What starts as a sharp, peppery bite mellows into a sweeter, more approachable green. The science behind this shift is still being unraveled. Cold weather often pushes plants to convert starches into sugars, which can mask bitterness and soften the spicy edge. While some believe that glucosinolate levels, the compounds responsible for mustard's pungency, drop after frost, studies on specific varieties like Japanese giant red and wasaba leaf are still lacking. What's clear is the result. Sensory panels and chef taste tests consistently rank frost-touched mustard greens higher for sweetness and overall flavor. With a fast maturity time, sometimes as little as 30 days, gardeners can sow mustard greens late in the season and still enjoy a harvest before winter settles in. For cooks, frost-sweetened mustard brings a new layer to salads, stir-fries, and sandwiches, making the cold not just a challenge, but a culinary advantage. Claytonia, better known as miner's lettuce, has a story rooted in survival. During the California gold rush, prospectors scoured the hills for more than gold. They searched for anything edible that could keep them healthy through the long, harsh winters. Fresh vegetables were rare, and scurvy was a constant threat. Miners discovered that Claytonia, a wild green thriving in the cold, could be gathered even after heavy frost and snow. Its crisp, mild leaves packed enough vitamin C to fend off disease when supplies ran low. Gold Rush diaries and medical logs from the 1850s mention miners' lettuce as an essential winter staple, prized for its ability to grow when little else would. Today, Claytonia still lives up to that reputation. It shrugs off temperatures down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, needing no cover even in open beds. The plant keeps growing in low light, making it a rare source of fresh greens when days are short and sunlight is scarce. Gardeners appreciate its soft, lemony flavor and the way it reseeds itself each spring, though some find its enthusiasm 
for spreading a little too robust. For anyone seeking a winter salad straight from the garden, Claytonia's resilience is as valuable now as it was in the age of pickaxes and gold pans. Kale stands at the top of winter gardening for a reason. Red Russian and Scarlet Kale have proven they can survive uncovered down to 5 degrees Fahrenheit, outlasting most other greens, even in the teeth of a deep freeze. Gardeners in Zone 3 have logged harvests after nights as low as minus 10, crediting the difference to one simple tactic. Mulch. A layer of diced leaves or wood chips, just 1 to 2 inches thick, acts as a natural blanket keeping the soil around kale's roots from freezing solid. This insulation isn't just about survival. It extends the harvest window, letting roots keep working and leaves keep growing long after other crops have faded. Field logs and extension reports confirm that mulched kale beds consistently outperform bare soil, especially when cold snaps hit hard and fast. The story doesn't stop at toughness. As the temperature drops, something remarkable happens inside the leaves. Kale starts to convert its stored starches into sugars, a natural antifreeze that protects the plant from cell damage. Lab tests show a measurable spike in bricks, the sugar content, after the first hard frosts. Gardeners and chefs alike notice the change. Bitterness fades, and the flavor turns noticeably sweeter, almost nutty. It's not just survival, it's an upgrade. That's why frost-sweetened kale often ends up raw in salads or as a bright, tender green in winter stir-fries. For those who want the hardiest, most flavorful winter harvest, red Russian and scarlet kale deliver both, provided you give their roots that protective mulch before the real cold sets in. Tatsoi is a winter green with a reputation earned in the coldest corners of the garden. In Zone 7A, growers document Tatsoi leaves pushing up through crusted snow after nights as cold as 10 degrees Fahrenheit. No row cover, no mulch, just glossy, spoon-shaped leaves braving the open air. Photos from February field logs show tight, emerald rosettes rising above the white their color only deepening as the mercury drops. The plant's resilience is not just a novelty, it's a reliable source of fresh greens when little else can be harvested. Tatsoi's flavor is mild and sweet, a gentle contrast to the sharper taste of mustard or arugula, and those who taste it after a frost often describe a subtle creaminess that summer leaves lack. This hardiness comes with a catch, Tatsoi is built for winter. As soon as temperatures climb and days lengthen, the plant bolts, sending up flower stalks and turning its focus to seed. That's why winter is not just the best time, but the only time to enjoy its tender leaves at their peak. Gardeners in Japan and across East Asia have relied on Tatsoi for centuries valuing it as a staple for soups and stir-fries through the cold months. Modern extension trials and home gardeners alike confirm its ability to survive single-digit nights, provided plants are well established by autumn. For anyone seeking proof that winter harvests are possible without elaborate protection, Tatsoi offers living evidence, sometimes quite literally peeking through the snow, ready for the picking. Red-veined sorrel stands as the unchallenged champion of winter hardiness, quietly thriving where nearly every other green fails. Reports from northern growers and university extension agents confirm survival through lows of minus 20 to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, all without the need for any cover, mulch, or row protection. This perennial green does not simply endure a single cold snap, it weathers entire seasons of snow and ice, returning each spring with renewed vigor. In the depths of winter, sorrel's growth slows to a crawl, but the leaves remain alive and harvestable, their color and tart flavor unchanged by bitter cold. Gardeners in Zone 3 and colder climates have noted that even after weeks of sub-zero temperatures, 
A careful tug will yield crisp leaves from beneath snowdrifts, ready for the kitchen when fresh greens are otherwise a memory. The secret to sorrel's resilience lies in its biology. As a true perennial, its roots dig deep and store energy, allowing the plant to ride out long periods of dormancy. Unlike annuals that must rush to maturity before the freeze, sorrel is in no hurry. Its leaves contain natural acids that seem to resist frost damage, and the plant's cell walls remain flexible even as temperatures plunge. Extension notes and field diaries from the upper Midwest and Canadian prairies consistently describe sorrel as undamaged by even the harshest winters, requiring no intervention beyond the occasional harvest. In fact, the only real caution is to pick sparingly during the coldest months, leaving enough foliage to support the roots until the return of warmth. This toughness pays off in early spring, when sorrel is often the first green to break dormancy. While other crops are just beginning to sprout, established sorrel plants send up a flush of new leaves, offering a burst of tart, lemony flavor that cuts through the heaviness of winter fare. For many gardeners, this perennial cycle is a promise kept, a living green that bridges the gap between seasons, providing both food and hope when little else grows. Historical records from European kitchen gardens and modern homesteading blogs alike point to sorrel as a backbone crop for self-reliance, valued as much for its reliability as for its taste. No other winter green matches sorrel's proven record at the lowest temperature thresholds. While cold-hardy kales and spinach may survive into the single digits with help, and even tatsoi or claytonia can falter as the mercury drops, red-veined sorrel persists uncovered through the kind of deep cold that defines true winter. Its role in the garden is both practical and symbolic, a steady source of fresh greens when the world outside is locked in ice. For those seeking a crop that will not just survive, but quietly thrive through the harshest months, red-veined sorrel delivers on every promise, making it the ultimate backbone of any cold climate winter garden. From lettuce that just edges past freezing with a row cover, to red-veined sorrel that shrugs off temperatures below minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, this list of 10 cold hardy crops has revealed the true range of winter resilience. The most shocking entries, like kale surviving at 5 degrees Fahrenheit without protection, or tatsoi thriving even when peeking through snow, challenge the idea that fresh greens are out of reach in winter. Across all entries, three patterns emerge. Variety selection is crucial, timing matters, and simple protection methods, like mulch or row covers, can make all the difference. The ranking highlights that some crops, like claytonia and sorrel, require no cover at all, while others demand careful nurturing or even indoor shelter. Ultimately, the real insight is that winter doesn't have to mean an empty garden. With the right choices and a little planning, you can enjoy fresh, nutritious harvests all season long, even as the temperature drops far below what most would expect.